Guys, it's hot in here. It's really hot. I think it's because we have a firehouse sub <laughs> in the room. Today, I am trying firehouse subs brand new. It came out today. I'm on time. They're brand new pepperoni pizza meatball sub. It's literally a meatball sub with pepperoni pizza on top, like cheese and pepperonis. It's gonna be iconic. It looks great. I'm ready for it. I love Firehouse Subs. Like, guys, they're one of my favorite restaurants ever, like Subway Who. So it came out today, but right now it is only available through the app. But I think on April 5th, um, you can get it anywhere in the stores. Um, now, this is all according to the fastfoodpost.com. Credit to them. And guys, it comes on a brand new garlic bread sub roll. And I'm also trying Firehouse Subs Mac and Cheese. I had no clue they had mac and cheese until today, so I was like, I have to try that. Also, I'm ready for this delicious combo meal. Um, but first, guys, I have some tea. <laughs> Y'all know I'm not into conflict. I'm not a confrontational person. I'm not a fighter. Um, but today, me and my bae, we're leaving our apartment to, um, go pick up the sub, right? Because it is pickup only on the app. We were walking through the hallways, um, and I saw this maskless girl, like, 20 feet behind us. And, listen, I don't go near maskless people. It's a big rule of mine until I'm fully vaccinated. I stay clear from them. You're not affecting my life with your dumb decisions. Anyways, she was, like, 20 feet behind us and maskless. So I opened the door to leave the building um, and I let my bay out also and then I just like didn't hold it open for her. Because <laughs> first of all she was 20 feet behind us. I personally hate when I'm super far back and then someone holds the door open for me. Like it's super nice of them but then I have to run through the hallways so that they don't have to wait. So it, it just gets awkward. So I didn't hold it open for her for those two reasons. And the moment that I let go of the door this girl goes Wow! First of all, do you think I'm a straight man? Do you think I hold doors open for ladies to impress them? Listen, I totally will if you're right behind me and you have a mask on, but sorry you weren't right behind me. I don't know what kind of service she expects from random strangers. Is she the Queen of England? I don't think so. So I'm sorry, but I didn't hold it open and I wish I could go back and say, wow, what? Wow, what? <laughs> but sadly, I get very awkward in um, confrontational like situations and I just kept walking. I was like, let's just walk to the car. <laughs> but I wish, I wish I was a bad bitch. I wish, oh my God. I'm gonna go over that in my mind so many times. Wow, what? Who are you? Who do you think you are? Oh, I wish. Well, so that's what happened. Anyways, I'm sorry about that. Let's get to the food. So. Now that that's out of my system, I feel so much better. I can enjoy my meal now. I'm ready. Let's see what we've got here. So, okay, guys, there's the mac and cheese. So it's white. You can't really see it. Hold on. Can you see it? So it's like that white cheddar type mac and cheese. Oh, it smells good. It smells like a Panera vibe. Stouffer's. It smells really good. Okay. Oh, my God. They gave me little breadcrumbs. For the mac and cheese, that is so cute. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's adorable. You can see it now. And they gave me a spoon, love that for me. What a cute spoon. Now let's take a look at the sub. I'm nervous. The picture of it looked amazing, so I have very high expectations. Of course, I'm gonna tell you my honest opinion, rate it from one to 10, all that good stuff. Okay, are you guys ready? She's glowing. It looks kind of like the promo picture. So I see like massive pepperonis, cheese. There's a sprinkle like of um, Italian seasonings, I think, all over it. it. Smells incredible. I'm ready for that garlic bread. A pickle. Guys, something I love about Firehouse, they always give you a delicious crunchy pickle. And I wish that Subway did this too, but. Um. Mmm. There's some more, who? Oh yeah. So, the price, let's see. What did I pay for this? I forgot. The mac and cheese was $3.99. Okay. Typical side price. And I got the large pepperoni pizza meatball sub, which was 11 dollars 
Listen, even if it looks like it's the size of a Subway foot long, Firehouse subs are so much heavier and the bread is just more fancy and dense and you just get more food in the density department, if that makes sense. It's just very heavy. So I totally get the price. I think it's a very fair price. It's a huge meal. Let's first try the mac and cheese. Okay, it's very saucy. Like, more sauce than noodles. It's almost like soupy, which could be an issue. Let's try it, guys. Okay. Hmm. delicious flavor sharp tangy stouffer's vibes but very liquidy too liquidy it is almost soupy and the texture of the sauce really is serving stouffer so it's serving kind of like a frozen mac and cheese texture like i love the stouffer's flavor but I really prefer like a homemade mac and cheese texture and this does not taste homemade whatsoever. I would compare it to like a Panera mac and cheese, but just soupier. And the breadcrumbs are a very nice touch. They're crunchy. They add a different texture, makes it all feel more fun and a little more fancy, but still it tastes processed and like it's been frozen. And I don't know if it has been frozen. That's just the, the vibe it's giving me, okay? I like it though. Would I get it again? I'm not sure. I think I like their chili better. Firehouse has good chili. And the chili is a bit healthier, so I'd probably get that as a side if I'm already eating like a huge sub. Is it worth $4? No. I would say maybe like $2.99. Okay, guys, so let's get my thumbnail before I try this sub. So should I like hold the whole sub up like in its packaging? I'll get a couple different versions, okay? So let's first... Oh, Oh my god, that attacked me! Oh my god, it's so massive. <laughs> oh my god, I did not mean to say that like that. Okay. Oh my god. Now let's do one where I'm holding this sub, okay? I hope there's a sliced meatball in the middle. And let's see. <gasps> there's not, okay. So it's just a flattened pepperoni. I'll take a bite and then take a thumbnail, okay? So let's try it. I'm nervous. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Oh my god. I should have gotten napkin. Oh my lord. Okay. Let's get that thumbnail. Hmm. I'm not sure. All the toppings are delicious. That pepperoni is so crunchy and crispy. The cheese is great. The garlic bread is delicious. It tastes so fresh and so crunchy and crispy and so flavorful. I only have one issue. The meatballs. They're very Subway-y. <laughs> They taste like like that really processed kind of trashy meatball. And from Firehouse Subs, I expected a lot more. They have very good quality meats, um, usually. Like this pepperoni is great quality. It's so good. But the meatballs just taste so processed. Let's try it again. Mmm. And pepperoni. Mm. That meatball tastes better. What? Wait, these are different meatballs. I'm so confused. This one's so much darker. Do you see that? It's such a dark meatball. And then there's this one. What? And this one tastes so much better. I am so confused. Why are there two different kinds of meatballs? What is going on? This one tastes good. Mmm. That's a good meatball. What is going on? I mean, like, it still tastes processed, but it definitely tastes so much better. I'm gonna grab two meatballs out of the sub and see if they're different. So, meatball one. That's the lighter kind that tastes better. Still tastes processed though, but better. Let's see this one. Okay, this one's lighter too. Hold on, I think I, I just got like a dark meatball. I'm gonna put a clip right here to show you guys how dark that meatball was and how weird it tasted. Maybe it was just like an overcooked meatball. These are better. They're not Subway level. They're better. So with the first meatball, I would give this sandwich six out of 10. With the second meatball, I'd give it 
7.5 out of 10. I guess I just got a bad meatball first. That was weird. That was odd. Like, y'all, there was a huge color difference. Like, holy crap. Anyways, guys, overall, that's a 7.5 out of 10. And the mac and cheese is a 6 out of 10. So I'm not that impressed. But I will say everything besides the meatballs in the sandwich was perfection. The bread, the pepperoni, the seasoning, the garlicness, everything. So maybe like get this sandwich, but with like just pepperonis. That would taste really, really, really good. Or just like swap it out for like some pastrami or some turkey breast. I don't even know. I just think it would taste better. So damn, thank you guys so much for watching. That was a big plot twist. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to try this out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Um, bye.